Hi guys, welcome to this uh, full moon practice. It's for the cold moon, which is the last full moon of the year. So if you want to go ahead and get on your yoga mat and um, into Tadasana, we're going to start in mountain pose today. Coming onto your yoga mat, roll your shoulders up, back and down, engaging through the core, feeling the soles of your feet connecting with your mat. Relaxing the shoulders down the back, palms open to the universe, open to the front of the mat. Starting to bring your attention inwards into your inner world. We're going to start here by just closing the eyes or gazing softly off the tip of the nose, whichever feels better for you. Bringing your focus to your breath. Imagining as you inhale, you're inhaling all the way down into the soles of the feet. And then as you exhale, imagining you're exhaling all the way up from the soles of the feet through the body, back out into the universe. Working with this, inhaling, Visualizing the breath, moving down the body, washing over the body. And then as you exhale, traveling upwards through the body and back out, taking with it anything you no longer need. Working with this visualization. Now start to imagine that as you inhale, the breath is coming in through the pores of your skin. And as you exhale, the breath is traveling back out through the pores of your skin. Inhaling love, surrendering to your practice today under this full moon and as you exhale just let go of anything that's holding you back allowing your exhale just exhaling through the pores of your skin And then let go of this visualization. Notice where you're connected to the earth. Checking in with the soles of your feet, the points of connection. Scanning the legs. Are you holding tension anywhere? Maybe in the buttocks. Scanning the torso, scanning the shoulders, the arms, the hands, the back of the neck, the top of the head. And just relaxing, releasing any tension, the face. Tongue. Checking in with yourself. And then if your eyes are closed, gently opening them, keeping your gaze soft. We're going to move through Chandra Namaskar, Moon Salutation. Keeping the breath nice and steady, moving with awareness, and doing what works for you on your mat in your practice today. We're going to start with tree pose, Rikshasana. So take your option. We're going to start with our left foot up. So taking it to your heel, to your calf, or up to your thigh. Hands into prayer and stay here. 
Breathing, starting nice and soft, being kind to yourself. If you wish, taking the hands up, keeping the gaze soft, core engaged, shoulders relaxed. If your hands are up, exhale them to heart center. Inhale and then exhale, just gently and softly releasing down. Stepping to the left, we're coming into goddess pose. So feet are pointing slightly towards the corners of your mat, out at 45 and then we're sinking down, trying to keep the pelvis tucked under. Rolling the shoulders up, back and down. Taking the fingers into Gaia Mudra, thumb and first finger together. Back of the neck long, gazing gently off the tip of the nose. And then we're going to work with some movement. So inhale, reaching over to the right. Exhale, back to center. Inhale, reaching over to the left. Inhale, back to center, linking your own breath and movement, being kind to yourself, you're just starting your practice. And then gently coming back to center, rising up, turning to face the back of your mat. We're coming into Veer Vatrasana, three into warrior, M3, so stepping up gently, reaching out and forward, lifting up the back leg, softening the breath, trying to keep the hips level, placing the foot down, and then stepping round with the left foot into wide legged forward fold. So this time the outsides of your feet are parallel to the edge of your mat. Taking the hands up to shoulder height. And as we exhale, turning, taking the right hand to the left foot, ankle, leg. Just remember, bend those knees as much as you need to. And then we're linking our breath and movement. So inhaling, coming up, exhale, going the opposite way, left hand, ankle, calf, leg, bending the knees as much as you need to. Working with your own rest and movement. Core engaged, legs engaged. Smoothing out breath. And then exhale, and your next exhale, coming up, relaxing the hands down. Checking in with yourself and then turning to the front of your mat, stepping the foot through. We're going to do a forward fold. So just inhaling this time, looking up, engaging through the core, folding forwards. We're just going to take hold of our elbows, relaxing our neck and our shoulders, sending breath wherever it's needed. Bend those knees as much as you need to. Remember, we're just starting our practice today, so just working softly and gently, being kind to your body. Smoothing out the breath. And then from here, on your neck, exhale together. And then inhale, rolling up through the spine. Back to Sadasana. From here, we're going to go into Malasana, so adjusting the feet, 45 degree angle in the feet, as wide as feels comfortable for you. We're going to sit down into our yogi squat, taking the hands into Anjali Mudra, into prayer, lifting up through the heart. You may wish to put a cushion or something underneath your heels, just to help if your heels are lifted. Remember, work with your own body. You can also roll your mat up. You put that under your heels. Smoothing out the breath, back of the neck long. Sending the breath anywhere it's needed. And 
And then exhale together. Inhale, slowly coming up, rolling up through the spine. We're back to Sadasana. Smoothing out the breath. We're going to go the other way this time. So stepping with the right foot, weight into the left, tree pose, take your options, ankle, calf, or thigh, into Vrachasana, and Jali Mudra at the heart center. You can stay here, or you can raise the hands up. Just have a smile, you wobble, practicing. Acceptance and love for yourself. Remember, just be kind on your mat today. Smoothing out the breath. And then exhale and jelly move you down to heart center if your hands are up. Inhaling. And then exhale, slowly and carefully releasing down. So we're doing goddess pose now to the right. So we're stepping to the right into our goddesses. Feeling the strength of the legs, setting up, tummy tucked, pelvis under, back of the neck long, and then linking the breath and the movement as you move from side to side. Reaching out. Moving with awareness, linking your breath and your movement. And then the next back to center, pausing there. And then inhale, rise up, feel the strength in your legs. And then from here, returning to face the back of our mat, we're coming into warrior C. So stepping the power into that right leg, reaching out with the hand. Lifting up that back leg, engaging the core, smile through any wobbles, breathe, smooth out the breath, and then exhale, gently bringing that foot down, stepping out to the right, Prasavita Padottanasana. Again, we're going to work with breath and movement. So inhaling, hands up to shoulder height. Exhale, right hand, left ankle, foot, shin, whatever works for you. Now remember, core engaged. Bend the knees as much as you need to. Be kind to yourself. Side to side. Linking your breath and your movement. And on your next inhale, when you're back to center, all the there, bending the knees and just stepping back round. So we're back to the front of our mats. We're going to take a forward fold, hands on waist. Inhale, exhale, folding. Just taking hold of the elbows, back of the neck long. Bend those knees as much as you need to. Be quite nice just to rest the torso on the thighs. Work where it feels good for you. And just send the breath anywhere it's needed. Legs are engaged. Rocking the weight forward slightly if you can into the balls of the feet more. Smoothing out the breath. Then everyone exhale. On your next inhale, gently rolling up, releasing the hands. We're back into Dasana, and then from here, coming into Malasana. So, widening your stance, toes slightly out the way. We're coming to sit in our yogi squat. Make any adjustments necessary for you. And Jali Mudra, heart center, lifting up through your heart. If you wish, you can. Take your hands in front 
and send the breath just into the back of the body, really breathing into the kidneys. Smoothing out the breath. And if you're folded forward, exhaling here, walking the hands in, back in Tanjali Mudra, picking up the heart. And then slowly with awareness, we're going to come gently up, rolling up, softly rolling, adjusting the feet. Back up into Tadasana. Smoothing out the breath. Checking in with yourself. So now we're going to do another round of Chandra Namaskar. So we're back to left foot first. Again, working with Vrachasana tree pose. Take your option. Smoothing out the breath. If you wish, you may gaze up to your finger, to your hands, which are just here. Move up your head, pressing the palms together, relax the shoulders down the back. Engaging the core, smoothing out the breath. Fantastic trees, everyone. And then if you've got your hands raised, taking them down on an exhale to your heart center. Inhaling here, and then gently with awareness, we're gonna exhale back down with that foot. So we're stepping out to the left, into our goddess, sinking down. This time we're gonna build some fire, some tapas. So we're staying here, tuck that chin slightly, back of the neck long, shoulders down the back. Feeling the connection between the soles of the feet and the mat. Feeling how strong you are, feeling the strength in your legs. Smoothing out the breath, you've got this. Exhale, inhale, rising up, turning to the back of your mat. So again, we're going into warrior three, Vibhadrasana three. So just gently taking your weight forward, reaching out with the hands. Into the Urbhadrasana feet, core engaged. Try and think about the pelvis and the hips being square to the floor. You don't want to tilt them too much or at all. And then from here, taking the left hand down in front, opening up into Chandra into half moon pose, Ardha Chandrasana. If you wish, gazing up to that top hand, do what feels right for you, bend that knee as much as you need to that front knee. Smile, do any wobbles. And then just exhale, taking the right hand down, bending the leg slightly if you need to, taking the right foot down, and gently rolling up to standing, so you're still facing the back of your mat, like so. And then we're going to set our left foot into our right-legged forward bend. So soles of the feet parallel with the edge of the mat, hands on the waist, smoothing out breath. Inhale, opening up through your heart. Exhale, we're folding forward this time. Bend the knees as much as you need to. Digging the hands down to the mat. Ideally, fingers, nails, and line with toenails. Rocking the weight forwards and then just folding forward. Working with your breath, your body, trying not to let the elbows 
splay out to the side. Try and keep them in line with the shoulders. Just allow your head gently to rest on the mat or wherever you are is absolutely perfect. Smoothing out the breath, bending the knees as much as you need to. Engaging through the core, pulling in Udhyana Banda, pulling up on Mula Banda, navel spine. And exhaling here, inhale, lengthening out through the spine, hands to waist, inhale, rising all the way up with the strength of your legs. Bend your knees slightly as you step back to the front of your mat. So another full circle. So this time we're going to do a forward fold. So you can take the previous version, or if you wish, you can take your feet hip width apart. Inhale, opening up through the heart center. Exhale, folding forwards into Padottanasana, taking hold of the big toes. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Uddiyana Bandha, Mula Bandha, engage, Jalandara Bandha. Folding forward, back of the neck long. Just relax in the shoulders, working whichever option feels good for you. Remember, bend those knees as much as you need to. Look after yourself on your mat today. Smoothing out breath. If you've got hold of your toes, inhaling, lengthen. Exhale, hands to waist. Inhale, rising up. If you've got hold of the elbows, rolling up vertebrae by vertebrae, back into Tadasana. And then from here, we're moving into Malasana, adjusting the feet as you require, and then carefully moving into your Malasana, into your yogic squat. Again, we've got options here. So you have the original option that we started with or reaching forward, if you so wish. Or you can start to bring in a little bit of movement. So we're going to inhale, opening up to the right, looking towards that right hand. Exhale, coming back into centre. Inhale, left hand, gazing gently towards it. And then exhale, coming back into centre. So just Work with your option, work with what feels good for you. And remember, you can put something underneath your heels if that feels better. Be kind to yourself, listen to your body. Moving with awareness, working with your breath. And on your next exhale, staying back in center. Everyone coming into the original version with the hands together, opening up through our heart centers. And then exhale, just release. We're starting to come back up, so shimmy the feet so they're parallel, and then rolling up vertebrae by vertebrae back into Tadasana. Feeling the strength of your legs, checking in with your body, feeling the connection with the earth. And then from here, we're going to the right. So we are going to take the right foot into tree, work your option, choose where you want to be. If you wish, raising the hands. Staying focused, smoothing out your breath. If your hands are up, exhale into heart center. 
Inhale together, everyone. And then exhale, slowly releasing out. And back into Tadasana. From here, we're stepping to the right, into our goddesses, setting up your feet, sinking down into the power of your legs, taking your hands into Gaya Mudra, thumb and first finger together, back of the neck long, latch your shoulders up down, down the back, just give them a roll. We're going to bring in some tapas, some fire, engaging through your bandhas, Lula Bandha, Uriyana Bandha, Jalandara Bandha with that chin slightly tucked, smoothing out the breath. And then everyone exhale, inhaling, strength of your legs, bringing you back up, returning to the back of our mat. So we're coming into warrior C, inhale, lifting the back leg up, reaching out with the hands, back of the neck long, engaging through the core. Smoothing out your breath. And then slowly with awareness, taking the right hand down. If you wish, you can place it on a block with some books or a cushion. Bend the knees, just make sure it's nice and stable. Bend the knees as much as you need to, work your option. Maybe you have both hands down and the back leg raised. That's absolutely perfect. Or go ahead in Tardi Chandrasana, lifting up that left hand to the sky, opening up through the chest, reaching back with the back leg. If you wish, gazing up towards the left hand. One side might be different from the other. I know I'm almost more wobbly on this side. Just breathing in to wherever you are. The next, you'll take that top hand down into the floor, revolving the hips, and then slowly bringing that left foot down, bend knees as much as you need to, rolling back up to standing. And then from here, we're stepping round to the right into our wide-legged forward bend. So we're taking outside edges of our feet in line with the outside of the mat. Razavita Padottanasana. Inhale, opening up through your heart. Exhale, folding forwards, taking fingernails and line with toenails. Inhaling, lengthen as much as you can through your spine. Bend those knees as much as you need to. Stay wherever works for you. Exhale, hold. Remember and keep those elbows in line. Try not to let them just splay out. If you can, gently resting the head down. Rocking the weight gently forwards. No weight in the head if the head's touching. Smoothing out the breath, engage through your bandas. Inhale, lengthening as much as you can through your spine, keeping the chin tucked. Exhale, hands to waist. Inhale, rising all the way up. Remember, bend the knees as much as you need to, work with your body. From here, gently bending those knees, taking back to the front of the mat. We're back round. So from here, we're taking our feet hip width apart. Hands to waist, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, folding forwards. Now work your option. Maybe you're taking hold of your elbows, bend your knees as much as you need to, maybe resting the torso on the legs. Or go ahead and take hold of your big toes. Inhale, lengthening through your spine, engaging through your Gula Banda, your Udiya Banda, pulling in navel to spine, and then exhaling, fold. Relax the shoulders down the back, taking the elbows slightly back so your arms aren't splayed out to the side. Smoothing out the breath. Rocking the weight gently forwards, maybe on the balls of the feet.
in Chicago, the Tupolans of the big toes. Exhaling here, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands to waist. And then everyone using the strength of their legs, gently coming back up into Sadasana. We're going to do one more round, Chandra Namaskar. So we're going to the left. So take your option for tree pose. You might wish to do what you've done before or try the next option now that you're a bit warmer, see what feels good for you. If you wish, you can take your left foot into half lotus or a padmasana, padmas, padmasana. If you are quite happy here, we can take our tree pose here or one of the previous options, smoothing out the breath. If you're here in half lotus, you might wish to fold forwards. Remember, bend that knee as much as you need to, smoothing out the breath. If you're folded forwards, roll an inhale, gently rising up, using the strength in your leg, coming back into nice, strong, stable Vrachasana. If your hands raised above your head, everyone who's there, exhale your hands to heart center. We'll all inhale together. And then exhale, gently releasing out the leg back into Tadasana. So we're taking, we're going to the left into our goddess pose. Sinking down. We're we'll bringing a little bit of movement this time. So setting up your goddess and then moving with your breath, reaching over to the side, filling the space of your body with your breath, creating space. Inhale and exhale, linking your breath and your movement. And pausing in the middle. And on your next inhale, rising up to the strength of your legs, turning to the back of your mat, coming into warrior three, lifting that back leg up, keeping the leg engaged, reaching forward, strength of your legs. And then from here, slowly moving into Ardha Chandrasana. Again, remember you can use a block, bend that knee as much as you need to. You can keep both hands on the floor, work here. Just choose your option. If you want to go for Ardha Chandrasana, rotating open through the chest, gazing up towards that top hand if it feels good for you, smoothing out the breath. Either staying there or moving to a previous option. We're going to revolve it now. So take the right hand down and then open up through the left. Rotating round to the left, looking up towards that left hand, engaging through the core. Exhale, taking the hand down, gently bending the left leg, as you take the right leg down to join it, and then we're rolling on up into Sadasana. You're still facing the back of your mat. Smooth out your breath. And then coming around to the left, in our circles like a moon. Smoothing out your breath. Hands to the waist, right leg and forward fold. So again, work any of the previous options. If you want to take your hands out shoulder height and move from side to side, do that. Inhale, open up through the heart center. 
Exhale, folding forwards. If you wish, go ahead and take both the big toes. Inhale, lengthening through the spine. And then just exhale, softening, finding space in the body. Engaging the Uddiyana Bandha, navel to spine, chin slightly tucked. Bend those knees as much as you need to. And just work where it feels good for you. Moving out breath. Now, if you so wish, and a tripod head stands in your practice, you can inhale, lengthen, and then place the hands shoulder height apart, gently coming down with the head to the mat, and then raising the legs up into your headstand, moving with control, and then head on an exhale, taking the legs back down into your wide leg. Forward fold, inhaling, lengthening. If you still had holds the big toes, taking the hands to the mat, inhale, lengthen, and then we'll all do exhale with our hands on our waist. Inhale, rising all the way up. Checking in with yourself, pausing here, bending the knees slightly, coming back. Round to the front of the mat. Then from here, we're moving into our forward fold. So again, you can take any of the previous options. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bend those knees as much as you need to. Padahasthasana, if it's in your practice, or go ahead and hold on to the big toes, or holding on to the elbows, wherever you are is perfect. Lengthening through your spine and just exhale and fold. Send the breath anywhere it's needed. Smoothing it out, relaxing your shoulders, feeling the connection with the earth. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands to waist. Inhale, rising up into Tadasana. And then from here, we're going to move back into our yoga squat, back into Malasana. So remember, work your options, set up your feet so they're comfortable. So you might have your mat rolled up, you might have your cushion onto your feet, you might have blocks under your heels. Do what works for you. It can actually be quite nice to sit on a block or a cushion and just work where it feels good for you. You can move dynamically, working from side to side, like we did before, or you can stay with your hands in Anjali Mudra, thinking about opening up into your heart. Maybe you're thinking about the color green, working with our heart chakra. Gaze is soft, back of the neck is long. Smoothing out your breath. And then wherever you are, Coming back to center, we're going to rise out of this now using the strength of our legs. So just adjusting the feet so they're back to parallel and just rolling up nice and slowly back to standing, back into your strong mountain pose. Checking in. We've got one last one to do. We're going back to the right. So back to tree pose, back to Vrachasana. So again, work your option. Choose what works for you. Maybe try a slightly different one now that you're more warm. Do what works. Listen to your body, to your practice on your mat today. 
So if you want to go ahead and take uh, Padmasana, then go ahead. If that's your version of tree pose for today with your right leg, hands Sanjali Mudra, you can rise them up. Do what works for you. Make sure you feel nice and strong. If you have the leg in half lotus, you can fold forwards. Taking the hands to the mat. Maybe touching those to me. Nice and relaxed. Engaging through the core, through your strong leg. Smiling at any wobbles, allow them to pass. You got this. Now if you're folded, slowly making your way back, up to standing with control. If your hands are raised above your head, exhale, heart center. Inhaling together. And then exhale, slowly release. We're moving to the right into our goddesses again, right into the right. Choose your option. Maybe linking breaths and movement, maybe building some fire, tucking that pelvis under, rolling the shoulders up, down, and back, back of the neck long. Hands, Gaia and we draw some of first finger together. And then inhaling, coming up, strength of the legs. We're turning back, right to the back of our mats. So you know what's coming, warrior three. Lifting that back leg up, reaching forward. Feeling strong, feeling stable. And then from here, the Drasana three, taking the hands down. Now you might wish to stay here, work on the strength of the leg, maybe bending that standing leg or going into Ardhatandrasana, right hand. It's about a foot away from the body, rolling open through the chest. We're nice half moons, Ardhatandrasana. Left hand reaches to the sky, opening up through the side of the body. Strong leg. Strong left hand, body engaged, breathe, smoothing it out. And then staying here, we're going back to a previous option, taking the left hand down, revolving it open now, opening up through the body. Smile. Revolving, breathing into any tight bits, maybe gazing up at that top hand. And then exhale, taking the top hand down to the mat, bend that front leg slightly, and then take the left leg down to join it. Now bending both legs, just rolling up, back up to standing into your mountain pose. Now we're stepping around to the right, into our wide legged forward bend. So you've had a few options now. Go with whatever feels good for you. Inhale, opening up through the heart. Exhale, folding forward. If you want to do it with me, taking hold of the big toes. Remember, bend those knees as much as you need to. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Fold. Or maybe you're working with your breath and movement from side to side. Wherever you are, it's absolutely perfect. Feeling your navel to spine, engaging through the legs, smoothing out your breath. If you wish, and try to call headstands in your practice, you might want to take your hands Roll your shoulders, gently placing the top of the head on the mat, trying to keep the elbows in line with the shoulders, gently coming up into your headstand. 
And then exhale, taking the legs back down into your wide legged forward bend. Staying here. And then everyone inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands to waist. Inhale, rising up. Remember, bend those knees as much as you need to. Well done, everyone. Now we're setting back to the front of our mats into Tadasana. So from here, into our forward fold, hands to waist. Choose your option. We're going to go for Padahastasana if you're practicing with me or maybe holding on to your elbows. Remember, listen to your body, do what works. Inhale, lengthen, opening up to your heart. Exhale, folding forwards. Picking those big toes. Oh, sorry. And a half stats and a hands under the feet, trying to get the toes to your wrist. Rock the weight forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Remember, bend those knees as much as you need to. Or take one of the previous options, taking the big toes. Or holding on to the elbows. Really just breathing in any, into any tight bits, sending the breath wherever it's needed. Smoothing it out, it's all about the breath, the bandhas, prana, just working into the body, creating space. We're also letting go of anything that we no longer need. Burning it away with some fire, some inner fire. And then everyone exhale, we inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands to waist. Inhale, rising up. And we've got one last malasana. So setting up your option. Coming into malasana, adjusting your feet, working with your hands together or maybe we're coming into a bit more chill now, a bit more chill practice. So you might want to take your hands forward or maybe you want to move from side to side like we did earlier. Listen to your body, do what feels right for you. Practice instinctively and intuitively for you. Listen to your body. Really, if you're, if you're folding forward with me, just sending your breath into the back of the body. Imagine you're breathing into your kidneys. And then inhale. And then Jali Mitra. Now from here, we're gonna sit down. So carefully with awareness, make your way down onto your mat, just sitting. Legs out in front. We're gonna do a little bit more chill. Now a little bit more of a yin. We're just surrendering at the end of our practice, letting go. So we're gonna go into butterfly. We're making a diamond with our legs, soles of the feet together. Now you can put a cushion or something under your legs, depending on how supported you want to be. You can also sit on a cushion, raising up your hips or some blocks or something, maybe a book, and play around, you're at home, you know, you've got time, you can pause, you can set yourself up if you wish, you can place your cushion here, so that you've got something nice to rest on, maybe another cushion, so you're totally supported. Just, you know, set yourself up, do what works for you. So we're just folding forward, nice and gently. If it doesn't feel good to fold forward, then stay upright, allow your hands just to rest on your legs. If you wish, close the eyes, gaze softly off the tip of the nose. We're gonna stay here for a couple of minutes, so make sure you're nice and comfortable. Sending your breath anywhere it's needed. Allowing your body just to fully relax. Surrendering to the earth. Mm. 
palms up if you wish to receive the energy of the universe with hands down if you want to feel nice and restored and connected to the earth. Breathing into any tight bits. Trying to bring your focus inward. One more minute here. If you want to scroll a little bit more, do so. Nice and soft, soft breathing, soft and kind to yourself. And then wherever you are, exhaling, inhale, moving back up to seated. And then just use your hands to move your legs so that your knees are pointing to the ceiling. Taking the hands behind you. Just pause here, checking in with yourself, noticing how you feel. And then we're just going to windmill the legs from side to side. Keeping the breath soft, the eye gaze soft. And from here, we're going to move gently with awareness into the caterpillar. So you're taking your legs out in front of you. Again, if you wish, you can use sit on a cushion. You can also place a cushion on top of your legs to fold forward and rest on, or blocks or blankets. You can place a little towel or blank up and place it under your knees so you feel nice and supported. If it's a bit much to fold forward, you can bend the knees and give yourself a nice hug. Now, as it's caterpillar, you can take the legs slightly apart. Just do what works for you. Make sure you're nice and comfortable wherever you choose to be today. So we're just gonna fold forward over our legs. Remember, palms up to receive energy, or palms down to feel nice and grounded and supported. Choose your option, make any adjustments, and then commit to your stillness. Allow yourself to relax. Check in with your feet. Are your feet relaxed? Are your calves relaxed? Are your thighs relaxed? Is your back relaxed? Are your shoulders relaxed? Are your arms relaxed? Are your fingers relaxed? Is the back of your neck relaxed? Relaxing, softening, surrendering, down into the ground. Is, your, is the top of your head relaxed? Is your face relaxed? Are your eyes relaxed? Relaxing, softening, surrendering, down into the ground, letting go. 
you are supported. You are loved. We're going to stay here one more minute. And then everyone exhaling together. Inhale gently using the hands, walking yourself back up to seated position. Just pause here. Scanning the body, checking in with yourself. And then taking the hands behind, bending the knees, taking your feet. Just wider than hip width, wherever feels good for you. And we're just going to windmill them from side to side. And then softly and gently, we're taking our knee back to center. And then we're coming to lie back on our mats. Pausing briefly in Shavasana, but we're all staying here. Scanning the body, checking in with yourself. And then gently taking feet in. Knees point to the ceiling. Adjusting the hips so they go slightly to the left. Taking the knees up, hugging them slightly, hands out, shoulder width, and then just allow shoulder height, and then just allow the knees to drop down to the right. Now you can choose to gaze at the ceiling, or to close the eyes, or to look along the left arm. If you wish, you might want to extend the top leg and take hold of the foot. Staying here, or if you so wish, you might want to take hold of the bottom foot, ankle, leg with the left arm into cat pulling its tail. Just choose where you want to be, make any adjustments, make sure wherever you are, you can nice and relax. Then really send the breath down into the abdomen. Really letting go at the end of our practice. Softening, releasing, surrendering. And then if you have hold of the bottom leg, gently releasing it, taking the left arm back out shoulder height, making any adjustments. And then if you have hold of the top leg, exhaling, gently release it, bend it back. Arms are out at shoulder height, 
taking the knees up to center, and just hugging them in. Taking some nice hip circles. Hubert's decided to join us. Just taking the hips and the knees whatever way feels good. And then making circles the opposite way. We're gonna do the same thing, just to the opposite side. So placing the feet down, taking the hips slightly to the right, and then lifting the knees up. And we're just taking the arms out to shoulder height and dropping the knees down to the left this time. So maybe you want to stay here. Maybe you want to gaze at the ceiling. Close the eyes, gaze along the right arm. If you wish, you can straighten the top leg and take hold of the foot. Just remember, wherever you choose to be, remember you want to be nice and relaxed and soft. If you want to take hold of the bottom foot, if you did that on the other side, go ahead, adjust, soften, make sure wherever you are, you're quite happy, make any adjustments, and then commit to your stillness. Maybe closing the eyes. Sending the breath anywhere it's needed. Smoothing out the breath. Breathing down into the abdomen. Letting go, surrendering. Now, if you've got hold of the bottom leg, the bottom foot, or ankle, gently release. And then exhaling, gently, gently release the top leg, bending it back so your knees are resting on top of each other. Hands are at your shoulder height. And then use strength in your arms and your core to take yourself back up to a neutral position. Just pause here, checking in with yourself, and hug your knees in nice and tight. Give yourself a nice big hug and just circle the knees, big circles, small circles, wherever feels good for you, and then changing direction. Coming back into neutral, back to center, hugging the knees in. And then from here, just gently moving into happy baby, holding on to the legs, wherever suits you, maybe the outside of the feet, the inside of the feet, maybe the ankles or the calves, wherever you can just breathe and be nice and soft. Just breathing into any last bits of tension. Anything you're holding on to, just let it go. And exhaling, taking the knees together, hugging the legs into the chest. One last big hug. And then gently moving with awareness, taking the legs into Shavasana. Arms about foot, hands away about a foot away from the body, feet flat width apart. Setting yourself up in Shavasana. Everyone's different, every body's different. Maybe you want to put a cushion under your head. Maybe you'd like to place a cushion under your knees or a bolster. Um, putting it on your jumper, putting on your socks, making any adjustments. Allowing yourself to be nice and relaxed in your Shavasana. Any last adjustments now? Allowing yourself to soften. And 
working with the breath. Imagine that you're inhaling all the way up down and into the body, all the way to the soles of your feet. And then as you exhale, just imagining, exhaling all the way up from the tip of the toe to the crown of the head. Inhaling from the crown of the head to the soles of the feet. Exhale, soles of the feet, all the way along the body. Crown, out through the crown of the head. You can always visualize your breath as white light or golden light, if that feels right for you. Working with the breath, working with this visualization. And then start to imagine inhaling the breath in through the skin, in through the pores of your body. Maybe it's a white light, maybe it's golden light, wherever you feel drawn to instinctively. Inhaling into the pores of the body and exhaling out through the pores of the body, out through the skin. Inhaling golden light in through the pores of the body. Exhaling it out through the skin, through the pores. Working with this. And then letting go of that visualization. Just imagining that your golden light or your white light now surrounds your body. This healing light. Surrender into your relaxation. Surrounded by the warmth of this light. Love. It's all around you. So it's up to you. You can stay in your Shavasana or you can come out of it with me now. If you wish to come out of Shavasana, just start to bring your awareness to sounds out with the room that you're in. 
Maybe it's a car, maybe it's a tree blowing in the wind. Don't focus on it, don't label it or attach it. Attach yourself to it, just notice it, let it pass. And then start to bring your attention to sounds in the room that you're in. And then start to just invite deeper breaths into the body. Noticing how the breath moves your body from the inside. Listening to the gentle sound of your breath. Noticing. Now we invite gentle movements back into the body, wiggling the fingers, wiggling the toes. Perhaps you feel drawn to circle the ankles, circle the wrists. If you don't have any neck issues or you feel drawn to, you might want to move your head just gently from side to side. Move however feels good for you. Perhaps you want to take a big morning stretch. And then hugging the knees into the body, hugging them nice and tight. And then rolling over onto the left side, working with the feminine energy of this full moon. Either keeping the eyes closed and moving with awareness. Or just gently gazing off the tip of the nose, trying to keep your focus inwards. Start to slowly make your way back to the front of your mat. Into a comfortable seated position. No rushing, just gently making your way there. Softly, softly. And then taking your hands in Tanjali Mudra at your heart center. We're gonna finish with it on. So inhale. Oh. Namaste. You were decided to finish the practice with us. Thank you for sharing your practice with me today.